so now there will be uh, another case so let's say you are going to validate the error message with the different inputs so like uh, i am having multiple set of inputs so i have uh, close to 5 to 10 username i need to validate the same scenario with the 10 different username so is it possible yes is it possible in like a uh, cucumber bdd so we can test the same scenario with the different test data so how we can achieve in the sense like whenever you are planning to use different test data so we should use the keyword called as a scenario outline okay so now whenever we are we are planning to run the same scenario with multiple test data we should use the keyword called as a scenario outline so let's say i am just giving the scenario as a multiple test and we are going to do the same operation but here we are going to pass multiple inputs and how we are going to pass the multiple input in the sense whenever you are using the keyword called as a scenario outline so you should use each samples keyword okay so what is the need of each samples keyword in the sense where you are going to parameterize the multiple test data so whenever uh, it is a fun scenario it indicates you are testing the scenario with single test data whenever it is scenario outline it indicates you are checking the same functionality with multiple test data so whenever the multiple test data is involved so we should use the keyword called as a scenario outline and how we are going to parameterize the multiple test data in the sense with the help of the each samples keyword so now under the each samples keyword i am going to create a data table so data table in the sense like uh, <clears throat> like how we create uh, the table in the general way so here we are going to create the table with the help of the pipe annotation okay so the uh, the single horizontal line indicates the pipe annotation so i'm just adding the pipe annotation and what are the input we are going to are inject we... yes uh, sorry for interrupting but your voice is breaking and also the there is a lag in the screen uh, is it yeah i think it's better now okay so like, let me just re-repeat it uh, so like if there is any breakage please feel free to unmute and please highlight me because like i won't see the chat <clears throat> okay fine so let me just re repeat it so there will be a few cases like we need to test the scenario with multiple test data so the multiple test data in a sense we need to validate the same functionality with the different inputs the input we call it as a test data so whenever the multiple test data come into the picture like we should use the keyword called as a scenario outline so the scenario outline explicitly indicates like the particular scenario is going to use multiple test data and how you are going to configure the multiple test data in the sense with the help of the each samples keyword so we should create a section called as an each samples under this scenario outline so whenever we fail to provide this each sample keyword it will throw the error in the scenario outline because it is mandatory like whenever we use the scenario outline so we should use the keyword called as an each samples so now under the each samples i am going to create the data table so what is meant by data table so data table is nothing but it's like uh, generally like how we create a table in similar way like we are going to create a table with the help of the pipe symbol so pipe symbol is nothing but the vertical line indicates the pipe symbol so here under the example keyword so like we should provide the pipe symbol and we should provide some heading to the uh, table let's say we are going to pass the multiple username right so i'm just giving the header as a username and then i'm just closing the pipe symbol and then i'm just going to give the password okay so we are going to give the username and password so now i'm having different inputs so let's say I'm just pausing the username as an Aravind and password as 123 as a first step. As a second step, I'm just pausing the username as a hello and the password as an ABC. Okay, and I'm just closing the pipe symbol. So what we have done, so like here, we have 
parameterized two different test data so one is like rfin123 and another is like hello abc and even if required i can parameterized some other test data so let it be like sam the okay so the password will be like that the so we have parameterized three different test data and uh, where we need to insert this test data in the sense so wherever we are hard coder we need to pass the test data so here we should remove the hard coded test data and instead of it as we are reading from the it samples keyword so we should use the syntax called as an greater than and lesser than symbol and then we should provide the header name called as a username okay so here i'm specifying the header name so now after providing the header name so the mapping will be established so you could see the change in the color so which means whenever we are executing it will pick the username and will it will be injecting the username over here so in similar way i'm going to do for the password so inside the double quotes i'm using the greater than and lesser than symbol and uh, with the, always the greater than and lesser than symbol indicates like uh, you are pausing the data from the it samples keyword and uh, whatever the header you are providing so the same header should be provided under the it sample keyword so now what happened so we are going to test the same scenario with multiple test data so now i am just adding the tag over it let's say the tag be the multiple and then i am just providing the same tag in the runner file so if you provide in the runner file and if i execute this program so it will execute with different test data so let's see how the execution occurs so you could see it has picked the scenario called as a login page of salesforce and it has picked the test case called as test scenario called as a multiple test and it is executing for the first time so while executing for the first time you could see it is injecting the aravind and the password and then the browser will invoke for the second time and while it is invoking for the second time it will use the different test data it will pick the second test data called as an hello and it will do the validation and now again it will invoke for the third time because like we have parameterized three test data under the table so let's say i have picked the user called as an sam and it is trying to log in and it will be validating the error message which means the same scenario has been executed three times so the reason is like so we have used the keyword called as an scenario outline so whenever we are using the keyword called as an scenario outline it is mandatory to provide the it samples keyword if i remove the it sample keyword then for sure like it will throw the error so like uh, let me try to uh, remove it up so if i just remove it up you could see there will be a multiple error occurring in this line number 11 so it is throwing the error in the scenario outline because it is always mandatory so whenever we use a scenario outline keyword so you should create the it sample sections under it so one and only so if we add the it sample sections so the error will be get rectified and under the it sample sections so we are creating the data table so data table is nothing but like with the help of the pipe symbol like whatever the respective input or whatever the respective combination you required so you can create the table so these are the different combination like we are going to test with the aravind123 and hello abc and the sam the so these are the three combination we are going to test it up and we are going to inject this test data and how we are going to inject the test data from the it sample keyword to the when statement in the sense with the help of the symbol called as an greater than and the lesser than so whenever you use this greater than lesser than symbol it indicates so the user is detecting the data from the data table which is nothing but under the it sample section so when you simply mention uh, double uh, something in the double quotes so whatever the things which we mention in the double quotes will be injected to the respective uh, send keys okay so this is how like we will be uh, testing the multiple test data 
very easily in the uh, cucumber bdd framework so the difference between the scenario and the scenario outline in the sense so with the help of the scenario so we are checking the functionality with the single test data but whereas in case of a scenario outline we are checking the same functionality with the multiple test data so whenever the multiple test data comes into the picture we should use the scenario outline and whenever we are using the scenario outline keyword for sure like we should include the example keyword and under which like we should parameterize the data with the help of the data table so this we call it as a data table and we are reading the data table and post reading like we are pausing the appropriate input over it okay so this is how like we will be injecting the multiple test data so any doubt so and in the further session like we will be discussing more examples on the scenarios and the scenario outline because as i told like we are going to uh, stick with the uh, Amazon.in or .com. So we are going to do an end to an automation. So while doing the end to an automation, so you will get to know the real usage of this uh, feature file and how we are going to reuse it up. So you will understand the reusability level, how the framework help us to reuse the code. So you will get to know the things. Okay, any doubt till this point?